Perisic's authority depended on the rank to be of the person to be promoted. In respect of uh, the rank of generals, the president of the Fry had the authority to make a promotion. General Perisic had the authority to make a promotion of his subordinates serving in the personnel centers up to and including the rank of colonel. I'd like to focus on the promotions to the rank of general. Normally, the procedure would be that uh, the SDC would be advised by General Perisic whether the person who was seeking for whom a promotion was sought merited the promotion. Uh, the SDC was not a rubber stamp. They needed guidance and advice from General Perisic. They turned to him to make recommendations on the merits of the officer to be promoted. If we can go to uh, the next visual aid, which is Prosecution Exhibit 709, which is a text from the 14th session of the SDC in October of 1993, where General Parrish said in relation to the promotion of VJ officers in the 30th and 40th Personnel Center, the standard there is how the men have demonstrated themselves in combat and in the specific work they do. You can find that, as I say, at Prosecution Exhibit 709, page 39. Now, at that same session, General, Mo uh, sorry, Slobodan Milosevic said the following. If we're going to resolve this matter, I think we should resolve it in conformity with the proposal by General Parisich, instead of being an instrument of transmitting the proposals they have given, whereas we're not familiar with the criteria, I think that General Parisich should ask General Mladic for an opinion about all this and come up with his own views and then present us with proposals to address the issues individually. Now, this required General Parisich to make a qualitative analysis on the persons from the personnel centers for whom promotions of an equivalent rank were sought in the VJ. General Parisich exercised that discretion and that authority. He recommended for some generals, and he recommended against the promotions of other generals in the VJ. If we can turn to Prosecution Exhibit 786, which is a text from the session of the 37th session of the SDC on June the 7th, 1995, Parisich reported to the SDC that the SVK was seeking promotions of two persons, Chalikedich and Lanchar, to the ranks of Lieutenant General and Major General, respectively. General Parisich advised the SDC as follows. Quote, given that they are guilty for the situation over there, the general staff has assumed the stance that these should not be verified. And the SDC adopted General Parisich's recommendation. Now at the same session, he proposed 12 generals. Uh, and he made recommendations positively for promotions for six and proposed that the SDC reject the remaining six. And you can see that in the text that is before you, that is Prosecution Exhibit 786, page 32. And you can see some familiar characters from this tribunal. You can see that he positively recommends the promotion to the rank of general to General Guevara, General Militic, General Tolomir, but he rejects six others, including Dragomir Milosevic, quote, who is a commander of the Sarajevo Corps and who is also an SDS member. So he rejects six, I won't name them all. Those recommendations as well were accepted by the SDC. 
Now, if we turn to the issue of exceptional promotions, because there was two types of promotions, as I say. There were regular promotions and exceptional promotions. In respect of the exceptional promotions, the same qualification applied. The Fry president could make those exceptional promotions for persons up to the rank of general, uh, uh, the rank of general, I should say, and General Parasich could make exceptional promotions for persons up to the rank of, and including the rank of colonel. The president could make those recommendations at the proposal, exceptional promotions, at the proposal of General Parasich. Now, you'll find the description of the law in P197, it's Article 46. The exceptional promotion, what did it mean? It meant that there was going to be special recognition for exceptional contributions of officers in the line of their duty. I refer your honors to the transcript 5498. Uh, now, Perisic, General Perisic did exercise his authority to exceptionally promote members of the VRS and the SVK, and he did so frequently. Uh, we will take a look first at P1731, if we can. Now this, Your Honors, 1731 is a, uh, from the personnel file of uh, Vinko Pandurovich, who we're familiar with in this institution. Vinko Pandurovich, uh, was promoted three times, exceptionally, by General Perisic. The first two entries, you can see, uh, were before Srebrenica. The third <coughs> exceptional promotion to infantry colonel was on the 31st of December, 1995. This was months after General Perisic had been informed by Slobodan Milosevic that thousands of people had been killed in Srebrenica. And after he had ample opportunity to inquire as to the events in Srebrenica. If we could turn to Prosecution Exhibit 1897, which is another example. This is an ex a file from uh, the personnel file of Dragon Obrenovich, who we're familiar with in this institution, who has been convicted of crimes committed at Srebrenica. Both he and Vinko Pandurovich were members of the Drina Corps, the corps that was responsible for the atrocities at Srebrenica. And we can see in Mr. Obrenovich's personnel file three exceptional promotions given by General Perisic the third, after the events in Srebrenica. Now, as I say, he also made exceptional promotions for people in the SVK. So if we could turn to Prosecution Exhibit 2866. This is an individual by the name of Vjelko Bosanats. He was a member of the 40th Personnel Center. And we can see that this is an order that was issued by General Perisic to exceptionally promote Mr. Bosnats. So, he turned to a different promotion and a different, of a different individual, which is also an indicator of effective control, and that is the promotion, the extraordinary promotion or exceptional promotion of General Mladic, which occurred in the VJ. Uh, if we could have that on the screen, please. This is the exceptional promotion of General Mladic that occurred on the 16th of June, 1994. It was pursuant to an order of President Lilich, and you can see in the text, you'll see underneath the uh, exceptional promotion. If you go down a little bit lower, directly underneath that, Your Honor, you'll see it says Ratko Mladic, son of Nejo, commander of the main 
staff of the 30th Personnel Center. And you can see that this exceptional promotion, as I say, exceptional promotions were made on the recommendation of General Parasich pursuant to Article 46. This exceptional promotion, Your Honor, came into effect on the 16th of June, 1994. It came into effect two weeks before General Mladic received an equivalent promotion in the SVK. So if we could turn to Prosecution Exhibit 1903. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm not sure I'm with you. You say it came into effect two weeks before General Mladic received an equivalent promotion in the SVK. That's right, Your Honor. In the SVK. I, I didn't mean the SVK. I misspoke. Thank you. It, the VRS. Okay. So two weeks before General Mladic received the promotion to the rank of Colonel General in the VRS, he had been promoted in the VJ. That promotion, Your Honor, of General Mladic had nothing to do with the process of verification. It had nothing to do with the protection of status rights. It was a straight promotion in the VJ. In our, uh, I think we can conclude, or it's our submission, Your Honor, in respect of promotions, that General Parasic was, in fact, a critical figure in the promotion process of members of the VJ. He advised on promotions, he made promotions, and it's clear that those promotions were not promotions that were rubber stamped. Now, let me turn to a different element, another indicator of effective control, and that's the issue uh, of whether Parasic had the authority to issue orders and issue commands. Okay. We had a discussion, a very illuminating discussion, I should add, by Mr. Starcevich, who told us the distinction between orders and commands in the BJ. He described what I will say is an order or a naredba, which he described as an order defining the duties, rights, and responsibilities of individuals. He gave an example of transfer orders as a naredba. He described a command, naredjenya, as an operational command and as such part of the chain of command. You can find his testimony, Your Honor, at 5462 to 5463. Now, as I say, let's, I'd like to focus first of all on transfer orders, Naredba. General Perisic could issue transfer orders personally. Otherwise, they were issued by the personnel administration, the branch to which he had delegated that authority. What we have seen from the evidence is that General Parasich and the personnel administration transferred people to and from the VJ to the 30th Personnel Center to the 40th Personnel Center, sometimes between the 30th and the 40th Personnel Center, sometimes to the Ministry of Defense. People in the VJ were fungible. They could be, they were required to follow orders. They were transferred wherever the needs of service required. And in fact, when you look at some of these personnel files, the career career trajectory looks like a pinball bouncing back and forth between different units within the personnel centers. Now, these orders to transfer back and forth were obeyed. That's another indicator of effective control. They were obeyed both by SVK personnel and VRS, I'm sorry, by, by 30th Personnel Center members and 40th Personnel Center members. Now, we know that some of those orders were not obeyed. We also know, Your Honors, 
that that was a disciplinary offense, insubordination. But we also know that it was not in the public interest of the Fry to proceed against people who had been insubordinate for refusing to transfer from the VJ to a different country. So what did the VJ do? The VJ found other ways to get rid of people who were insubordinate. I believe, I don't have it in the top of my head, I believe it's in the 14th session of the SDC, where General Parasich says, if people won't go, we'll find another way to get rid of them. But let me show you, Your Honors, some of the orders that were transfer orders that were issued personally by General Parasich. If we could go to Prosecution Exhibit 1524, please. Now this, Your Honor, is an order issued by General Parasich. It was issued on the 5th of October, 1994, for an individual by the name of Slo, uh, Slo, Bogdan Sladoyevich. Mr. Sladoyevich was being transferred on General Parasich's order from the 40th Personnel Center to the 1st Army of the VJ. If we could go to Prosecution Exhibit 1893. Your Honor, I don't have a visual on 1893, but let me direct your attention to 1893. This is a <coughs> personnel center, a, a personnel file. And in the personnel file, you'll see that General Parasich transfers General Kerstich, who we know from this tribunal, from the 30th Personnel Center to the VJ school. If we go to 16, Prosecution Exhibit 1690, this is a personnel file for an individual named Smiljanic. Now, Mr. Smiljanic, as you will see at the bottom of the uh, personnel file for Mr. Smiljanic, he was deployed in accordance with the needs of the service to the Federal Ministry of Defense. This is on General Parasich's order. Finally, if we go to 15, Prosecution Exhibit 1522, we'll see the personnel file once again of Bogdan Sladoyevich. And in this situation, you'll see that Mr. Sladoyevich, who had been at the uh, VJ school in Belgrade was ordered by General Parasich to go to the 30th Personnel Center. Now, there's more. The red butt didn't only apply to transfer orders. If we could have Prosecution Exhibit 1777, that is Doc ID 0611 this, Your Honor, is a 16 September 1995. Uh, it is a command issued by General Mertzich. And not a general. No, this is, uh, I'm, I'm going to get there, Your Honor. This is, a, a, never, this is a command issued by General Mertzich, a Naragenia, mm. based on a Naredba that he received from General Perisic. And you'll see that, Your Honor, in the top highlighted portion, with the objective of carrying out the order of the chief of the VJ general staff of the Yugoslav army. And if you go to the parallel text in BCS, you'll see that's a Naredba. And in that order that is issued to General Merksic, who was the commander of the SVK, he asked certain things be done that 
that General Novakovich do certain things. And then he says in subpart three, give a briefing on the dismantling upon reporting to the general staff of the VJ in Belgrade. This is an order. This is the Naredba that was ordered by General Parasic to General Merksic is being complied with in the command that he issues. Are you saying that what Mr. Merksic is giving here is uh, a Narajenia? I am saying that, Your Honor. And it's not a Naredba. That's correct. He receives an order from General Parasic. He issues a command to enforce General Parasic's order. Okay, so you can see, as, I, as you'll see on the left word, in uppercase letters, it says order. To the right, it says Narajenia. That's the command that General Merksic is giving to his subordinates to execute General Parasic's order. If you have any questions on that, Your Honor, I'm happy to assist. Um, uh, you said to the right it says Narajenia. I'm trying to look for that. I'm it's not a, it says Narajenium, Your Honor. I'm sorry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You see the two oh. yellow highlights, the top two yellow highlights. In between, there's a word that says oh, order. It, it, it is not highlighted. That is the command. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now, I'd like to turn to commands, because General Parasic had the authority to command and issue commands to persons who were in the personnel centers. In those, he did so, and those commands were obeyed. If we could turn to Prosecution Exhibit 2412. Now, this, Your Honor, is a report from Slobodan Peric, who at the time he issued this document was the commander of the 18th Corps of the SVK. And he sends this document to General Parasic. So it is addressed to the chief of the general staff of the VJ. And it's a report about the performance of officers who were serving in the SVK. And what he says, what he, Mr. Colonel Parrish says, is based on your oral, and it says order, but if you go over to the BCS version of it, it's based on your oral narajenia, or command. So in this, with this document, Your Honor, you can see that there was a command issued orally by General Parasic to Colonel Parich, who was a commander of the SVK 18th Corps, and Colonel Parich is obeying it. If we can turn to Prosecution Exhibit 1925. Now this, Your Honor, is a document from General Parasic. It is a command. It is dated the 24th of March, 1995. And uh, it is a command to form a coordinating staff for assistance to the 40th Personnel Center. Now, uh, just direct your honors, you'll see where it says order for the formation of a coordinating staff for the assistance. If you go over to that part, equivalent part in BCS, it's Narajenia. And if you go to the word order in the English, it's a command, Narajenium. In that list of people who were supposed to participate in the this particular uh, coordinating staff were two members of the 40th Personnel Center. Mr. Starchevich was shown this document and shown the two people who were in the 40th Personnel Center. 
Mr. Starchevich testified that General Perisic was properly exercising command over members of the 40th Personnel Center when he issued this command. You can find that testimony at 6761 and through 6763. This command, Your Honor, was obeyed. Now, Your Honors, let me turn to another indicator of effective control, and that is the ability of the superior to discipline and to punish his subordinates. General Parasich believed he had that capacity. If we could turn to Prosecution Exhibit 2413, please. Now, this is a document, to put it into context, Your Honor, this is a document that was issued on the 9th of November, uh, 1995. It was a document that was issued after the debacle in the Kraina, after the defeat of the forces in the, uh, the Kraina. And this is a document that was issued by General Perisic, and it says, with the aim of establishing responsibility and solving the status of service for professional soldiers of the Yugoslav Army who served in the 40th Personnel Center, and then he gives an order. And his order is, if you go down to subpart two of this order, for officers for whom reasonable suspicion that they had committed a violation of discipline or a crime has been established, disciplinary investigation will be initiated through authorized officers and will be completed latest by 20 November 1995. Now, I'd note, Your Honor, in the context of this order, which applies to VJ members who served in personnel centers, this is many, many, many months after rockets with cluster warheads fell on the city center of Zagreb. General Perisic is not exercising his authority, his disciplinary authority, because persons in the 40th Personnel Center committed war crimes. He's issuing his order because he is dissatisfied with the conduct of persons who had been responsible, in his view, for the debacle in Croatia. Now, disciplinary proceedings, in fact, took place. We've heard evidence of that, Your Honor. I'll cite only one. This is discussed generally in our brief, starting at paragraph 269. But I'll discuss one of those incidents. It's the situation, Your Honor, of Colonel Bulat. Colonel Bulat was an individual who was the commander of the 21st Corps of the SVK. He surrendered the 21st Corps to the enemy. General Perisic was quite upset with that. And if we go to P2204, go to 2204, if, not, if it's not there, I don't know, I, I'm sorry, Your Honor, I did not make a visual aid for Your Honor's benefit. In P2204, General Perisic was upset with Bulat and others, and what he said in respect of Bulat was, I can dismiss him, but I will not dismiss him. So he acknowledges he has the capacity to dismiss Bulat. Instead, he says, you will instigate a criminal report. That's found at P2204. And thereafter, your honors, the VJ did, in fact, complete, they conducted and completed an investigation against Colonel Bulat into his conduct as the 21st Corps commander. Five witnesses were called at that proceeding 
The VJ investigative committee recommended that proceedings be instituted against Bulat and that he be punished. Now you'll see a complete description of uh, discussion in our brief in other examples in paragraphs 738 and 739. Your Honor, I can see the time, and this would be, I'm about to take a break. Before we do so, was he punished? Your Honor, that's an interesting question. The answer is we don't know, because we had the testimony of Mr. Novakovic, General Novakovic, who was a defense witness, who appeared. He said, to his knowledge, uh, uh, he knew Colonel Bulat. He didn't know if he was or didn't think he had been. But let me just say, Your Honor, that it was in the interest of, and I'll, and I'll be discussing that after the break, it was in the interest of the Fry not to make public these kinds of events. Sure, but the, the, but the answer is the, I don't know the there's answer. There's been a inquiries going on. We just want to know what, how far it went. That's all I'm asking. Yeah, no, went so far as having witnesses called and having a recommendation you know, that he should, they, it should proceed further. Thereafter, I don't know whether he was actually punished. Can we take it up later? Yes, Your Honor. All right.